sitting here and looking at the outcome of the season and thinking, why did it end like this? I'm entering this room three different times with three different people to ask the same three questions. After the questions are asked, I wait to see what they say and why and what they wish was different. finished the season four and six and there are any is there any point of the season you wish you would have changed like coaching players position of players or plays um overall we had a good season better than last year obviously anything i can change just the Bray mid park game lost 49 nothing wasn't good Sammy out in the cold um could have play calling could have been a little bit better but i feel we'll get them next year definitely okay. Second question, how do you feel the players and the coaches got along for the season and there are any games you wish you could have changed? Um, players and coaches got along fine. I mean, we had a great team. It's not like anybody hated each other or anything. We all laughed and talked during practice, you know, had our time. And just once again, the only game I would actually take back is the Brave Mid Park game. Right. Final question, before the season started, did you think this year, this year the team would, be, would go all the way for a perfect season? Um, after the season last year, I didn't really think we would go for a perfect season. I knew we were going to have our ups and downs this season. I didn't think it was going to be four and six. I thought we were a lot better than four and six. I'd say about maybe a six and four team. And maybe next season, you never know. The first interview. The game that was sad to player Barris was the Berea game, where they lost 49-0. Yeah. First question. The season was finished at four and six. Are there any points of season you wish could have changed, like the coaching staff, players, the position of players, or any plays they showed? Oh, well, I, I mean that's a that's a pretty broad, that's a pretty wide open uh, question. Uh, for a long time, uh, just a little bit of my background. I played in high school. I played in college. Um, when I was teaching, I, I coached for ten years. Coached football. Um, the the challenge that you know that, that Avon Lake faced this year is a, is the same challenge that every public school faces. You are you're I don't want to say you're handicapped or anything like that, but you are definitely limited to the talent that comes to your district. Okay. Um, when when you talk about some of the parochials, I mean they can bring a kid in. I know my 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 cousin is looking to go to Ed's. He lives in Medina, Highland. It's, he's going to have to literally drive from the middle, well, not middle, but the upper half of Medina County all the way across Cuyahoga County to go to Lakewood, Ohio, to go to St. Ed's. It's going to be an hour drive for him every morning. But if his parents are willing to do that and he's willing to get involved, Medina Highland loses on a kid who's going to be an impact player, and he goes to Ed's because they're allowed to do that. It's a challenge. Okay. Second question. How do you feel the players and the coaches get along for the season? And are there any games you wish you would change? Oh, how do I feel they got along? Uh, you know what? I wish I knew I wish I knew more. Um, it seemed to be it seemed to be a very hospitable, good working relationship. I, I don't know for certain if, if things went south. If if the players and the coaches didn't see it eye to eye, I didn't notice it on the field. Um, I didn't notice too much, you know, complaining for the players or screaming by the coaches other than, you know, things that would naturally happen through the course of the game. Um, as for changing teams? Or for games that were played for the season. Oh, I say now, so Avon Lake versus another team? Yes. Our, uh, see, we were, with, with the birth of the new league, we, we were pretty limited with who we could pick up. Um, our independents were non-existent. We they were all league games. Since since everybody's in the same league, that's who we get, and that's okay. I like the new league. I think it's got a nice it's got a nice flavor from one end to the other. Right. Last question: Before the season started, did you think this year would be the team's perfect season? No, no, I didn't think this would be a perfect season at all. Um, because let's not. I mean, I don't want to draw bring up bad vibes about last year. Last year was our worst season in the history of the school. 
It was hard. It was hard. And let's face it, we only lost one class. Three of the four classes were here for that worst season ever. And we didn't go out and get free agents and stuff like that. It doesn't work that Interview two with Mr. Vassal, the assistant. His idea was after the first season, or the season before this was a terrible season, they wish it was different. And the last season was the fan, and... The best at how the game runs and everything. I just feel like we, we did the same plays very often, and I just, we, I feel like we could have changed that up a bit. That's, that's just my opinion, though. Okay. Second question, did you think any of the players or coaches weren't getting along, or did you think they got along and fine? And there is there are, huh, or are there any games you wish you could have changed? I mean, I enjoyed watching all the games. I felt they they were very entertaining, and just I imagine the coaches and the team went, worked well together. They seemed to really enjoy the season. They just didn't play very well. I, I yeah. Okay. Final question: Before the season started, did you think this year would be the team's perfect season? I didn't have high hopes. I'm a senior, and I know the people in my grade. I don't. I know they're not the worst, but I also know they are not all-star players at all times. All right, thank you. And uh, that's that's the way I'm going to die. Is now all the football team is going to hate me. <laughs>